Hey guys, Tujuu22 here, and welcome back for more of Let's Play Yoshi's Story. This brought to you by MuchGames.ca in association with Insomania Game and Fuse 4 Network. And, well, last time we did the first level of the first page, but now we're going to do the first level of the second page, The Cavern as we are going to go through the Bone Dragon Pit. And uh, let's just get right to it right now. And uh, you know what, I, sh I may as well explain it since I have the time to do it. I wasn't able to do this last time. Uh, the, you know, when I played Yoshi's Story when I was a very little kid, when I was just a very, very little toad, I, I would roleplay, like, for example, the light blue Yoshi, that's me. Yep, that's me. And then the pink Yoshi, uh, that would be my sister. And then uh, the red Yoshi would be my mother. And then the dark blue Yoshi would be my dad. And then the yellow Yoshi would be the number of ants I have. And then the green Yoshi would be would be all my uncles. So that's kind of like it, it just represents a family, you know. Uh, of course, the light blue Yoshi also kind of reminds me of other people, but I really can't think of any off the top of my head except for maybe uh, Cole and Colette's, you know, newborn son. And then, of course, you have Cole. That's Cole right there. And then the pink Yoshi is, of course, Colette. I, I would think that maybe the red Yoshi would be Doofy Bonga. And then maybe Ryan's the yellow Yoshi. And then maybe the green Yoshi would be Grotus or uh, Zeo Lightning or whoever. I, I don't know, man. But anyway, uh, with that said, I'm just going to... Now that we finally got those little formalities out of the way, I'm going to pick the pink Yoshi right now. Okay. You know, one thing I really love about this game is the music. Especially this particular one. It, it kind of makes you feel like you're an idiot, man. Oh, and also... Always, always sniff for fruits. And uh, those little plant enemies, uh, they, they, they only give you one heart. Oh! What's this? Another melon, so now we get to move on. Oh yeah, and the pink Yoshis. Oh yeah, and also you can throw eggs at these enemies. Oh, and, and, it, and it takes two eggs to hit them. Okay. And then we have this warp. I mean, there's a lot of other Yoshis I can think of off the top of my head, but I'll, I might have to mention them throughout the course of the Let's Play, but uh, right now we're just going to focus more or less on the game itself. And whatever you do, do not fall down the pits. If you do, you die. I am, I'm, I'm only going to warn you that once. I'm just going to tell you this once. And there's our first heart. Thank you, Poochie. Oh, what? Oh. And there's something up here. Okay, yeah, there, there's nothing else up here. Alright, let me just get some more eggs. Oh, and also watch out for these dragons. Now, you can beat them either by throwing eggs at them or by ground pounding their heads. And you get coins for that. Very nice. Oh! Oh, I'm super happy again! Alright. Oh, it's one of these. Woo! 
Ooh, I almost fell, man! Wow! Alright. Okay, there we go. Uh... There we go. Gonna wake up Miss Star? Or Warps, or Miss Warp, I should say. Excuse me. Also, uh, that was a terrible thing. Uh-oh. Also, be sure to throw the eggs quickly. Otherwise, you might be caught in the crossfire, and uh, that's the last thing you need. And also, when you walk towards, when you get to the edges, walk. Don't run. Run only if you are on a slope. Do not run. All right. Find the vase. Look around. It's not too far. Can you find this special jar? Jar Jar Binks? No. <laughs> but anyway, let's just, uh, uh oh. Oh, this guy's throwing rocks at me? Seriously? Oh, no, 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 no! Come on! That was, that was really cheap, man. Seriously. I forgot that the, the boulders have this effect where you, like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna return to the same course. Damn it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to play as, um, my dad, if you will. The dark blue Yoshi. Well, you know what? I'll have to find the, uh, the white shy guy. Oh, but you know what? I, I just remembered something. The, the white shy guy? Alright. Where's that little bastard that killed, you know, that killed, well, that killed Colette? I'm pretty sure Cole's not gonna like this. Oh, oh my god! That flutter jump saved my life, man, I'm telling you. And, um... You know what? I still, to this day, do not know what the hell these things are. But they make this, uh, pitcher sound. Now, of course, in the 1990s, you had these, uh... You know, you, had, you used to have these cameras where... You know, the cameras we have these days are not like the cameras we used to have back in the 90s. But when they took a picture, it kind of sounded just like what they sound like. Anyway. At uh oh Come on, eat that. Eat it. Thank you. Ooh, money! Oh, it's a heart. Oh, okay, so you can't kill them. But they can't kill you if... Uh, can I get out, please? Oh, thank God. For a moment, I, I was kind of stuck there, man. But yeah, you can't kill these enemies. So, that's... That's the unfortunate thing. Alright, well, another, uh... Another melon... Alright, so I'm gonna get some more eggs. But yeah, that was a real cheap death, I'm telling you. Well, you know what? I mentioned the white shy guy, but I think the only reason he doesn't appear is if you have all the Yoshis uh, at your disposal. But if at any time that you're missing at least one Yoshi, you can find the white shy guy and then he can revive one of the Yoshis. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. But that's if you can find him. But yeah, I really do love the, uh... Okay, what's this? Oh, the button. Uh-oh. Now, that's a timed, uh, event. 
Um, what that does is, well, you have a certain amount of time to get that. Uh, there's no counter, so there's no real way to know if you're running out of time, but the music does speed up, though. Okay. If I jump over here... Now wait, where is it again? Oh, it's down there. Okay, I better get down there then. Oh, and also watch out for those little enemies. I mean, yeah, you could... Actually, I don't think you can just stomp on them. You have to actually... Oh, okay, maybe you can. Never mind. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it kind of feels great to be in India. Okay, ooh, what, what's this? Ah, yes, more melons, baby. Okay, I have two uh, hearts, so even if I was, uh, y you know, even if I had kept the yellow or the pink Yoshi, I should say, excuse me, um, I still would have had to find um, the, the three hearts. Let me wake you up. All right. All right. Special delivery. Ground pound to load up the melon boxes, then carry them to the finish. Okay, so what you do is you ground pound, and here's what happens. So I'm just going to show you. So now, you're going to be carrying a stack of, I think, seven. And what you do is you have to balance the stack that you have. The idea is to not go too fast, but just enough to where you keep balanced. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but if it's... Oh. Yeah. There we go. Ah, damn it, I ate a... I ate a watermelon by mistake, damn it. But, uh... I mean, like I said, I'm not trying to get 100% perfect, but... At least in terms of melons, but I I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Oh! <laughs> it was right there! I couldn't see it. Wow. Okay, so you have another one right there. Can I get up, please? Oh, shoot. Oh! Uh, here's a tulip. It turns you into this big egg, and then you have to press in the op opposite direction in order to go into the direction that you want. It's kind of like a catapult in a way. Alright, I'm going to try this again. Remember, go into the opposite direction and then aim in the opposite direction. Okay, where's the heart? There we go. Alright, stop on that. Oh, okay, so it doesn't work on the little enemies. I'm still looking for the third heart. Only question is, where the hell is it? Oh. Break the box? Okay. Wait, before I go into that jar, I'm still trying to... Okay, okay, well, uh, well, on second thought. Yeah, if you go up past that wooden part, you can't get back down, so you have to actually go all the way around to get back to this point, so I'm gonna actually, uh, go into the pot.
Uh oh. What's this? Oh no. Ah shit. Uh oh. I better get the hell out of here. Oh shit. Come on. Okay, you know what? I'm uh, I, I'm gonna get the hell out of there because uh, I also feel that if I beat the uh, dragon now, I might have enough uh, melons to, you know, get to the end. Oh, okay, so I kind of lost out on my chance to get those melons. Well, you know what? That's fine. I still need to find the other heart. Only question is, where the hell is it? Okay, it looks like it's down there. I just have to find where the hell is it. Oh, can I please get up the... There we go. Like I said, I need to get up there. Alright, so I need to... Come down here. Oh yeah, and those bees, uh, what they do is... Okay. Alright, I'll eat one melon. And another. Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay. Alright, let me shoot up here. Alright, and you have to press the B button in order to turn back to what you were. Oh, wait a minute, that's not the... That's not the white shy guy, that's a black egg. Well, you know what? What the hell, let's, 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 uh, let's find some more stuff here. Okay, uh, that's not what I was looking for, man. I swear, I, I don't know where the, uh... I, I know the white shy guy's around, but I don't know where. Alright, hang on a second. Okay, can I please... Okay, there we go. Okay, you know what? Well, I don't want to take the warp, uh, because that might actually take me to the first one. Which is not where I want. I want... Okay, can I please get up here? Thank you. Okay, I might get one egg. Yeah, I'm sorry that this uh, level is taking a long time, but I really want to try to find that, uh... That, uh, blue... or the white shy guy. Because I know it's around here somewhere, but where? Is it here? Oh, there it is! Oh my god! Okay, well I found what I need, so now... Now it's just a matter of getting... Oh, uh, wait. The last heart, but... Oh, you know what? I think that, uh, that dragon, that bone dragon that I showed you earlier... I think that was the one that had the, the last heart. I think that's where the last heart was. So if that's the case, then I missed out on it, but, um, yeah, if, if that's where it was, then, alright, well, that's, f then I guess it's fine, I mean, I I'm not gonna cry over it. Yeah, it it's not here, it's not here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna eat one of these fruits and, uh, leave. But yeah, I, I, I really believe that that bone dragon that I missed out on had that last heart. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but, you know, Let's Plays are not supposed to be perfect. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty good score otherwise. All right. Let's continue. Oh. Yeah. 
As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark, uh, in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon. If the Yoshis stayed, they'd surely be eaten. They'd escape, of course. No Yoshi wants to be become lunch for a dragon. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. 